Hey YouTube, this is Star Strike Duelist, and today I'm here also with Multi Monster Deals. We got our new shirts, and I think they're pretty nice. Um, and we're going to be doing a deck profile for the new format. It is going to be of Bujins. Now, I know your first reaction is going to be like, ew, Bujins, you know, that's kind of boring and degenerate. But the thing is, guys, I haven't played Bujins since last format. Um, well, I never played Bujins last format, and now that Tenki's at three for the new format, I think it's going to be one of the best decks. Um, and they're also the reason is, I think, as linear as it is, I think there's multiple ways to play the deck. Whether it's with Royal Decree, with real traps, if you choose to play hand traps or not. Like, there's different ways to fix up the deck. Um, I just want to show you guys my take on it. And also, I'm interested in hearing your guys' opinions. Maybe you played Bujin since last format and you have advice to give. Um, and just so we can build on it together for the new format. And I figured I'm going to be doing multiple deck profiles for the format. And this is just something to start it off. Since uh, Tenki stayed at 3 and you guys know uh, Tenki is a pretty good card. But anyway, let's get straight into to the deck profile all right youtube so let's get straight into the deck profile as i said i know the deck is pretty straightforward but i think there are little changes you can make within your own builds um that different from other people that will make all the difference so let's go ahead again to my first draft for the deck this build has been running pretty consistently in testing and i'm pretty pleased with it so i thought i would share it with you guys um three bujin yamato obviously your main guy in the deck the objective is to protect him and plus off of him um and later going to cool xyz's like suzuano of course and then we have two mikas uh, i just call him mika because i have a hard time pronouncing his name bujin mikazuchi one of my favorite artworks in the game to be honest um He's cool because he's the only other Beast Warrior Bujin you run. That means he run, uh, he works with Crane, Turtle, Hare, all of them. Uh, Quillen, well, since you have to have a face-up Beast Warrior for Quillen, you get the point. Um, and he's 1900, so he is definitely uh, one of the best. Uh, three Crane, it's like you're running four Honest in the deck. It's amazing. Two Hare. Uh, I, I prefer Hare a little bit uh, more than the Turtle, but they're both good. You need them both uh, to work to, with each other. Uh, the reason why I don't run anything like Centipede uh, or the other ones is because I feel like I want to keep the deck as basic and consistent as possible. Because although the deck runs things like dualities, tankies, and everything, the deck can still be inconsistent, of course, since you need your, your model uh, basically to do any of your plays. So that's why uh, you want to keep it simple. However, I do run one Quillen. I like the ability to have access to any uh, searchable card that can pop up face-ups because sometimes if a monster can't be destroyed by battle, you have a hard time getting over other than things like 101 if it was special summon. And so the ability to pop things face up is really cool with Quillen. Uh, plus you can pop up things like uh, Royal Decree. Next we have one Thunder King. I like Thunder King as a card. Uh, some people don't like it, but I personally do like Thunder King. Uh, it does fit in with the light theme as well since we do run one copy of Honest. I think Thunder King, opening up Thunder King um, is basically the next best play if you can't open up your model. Um, next off, we have the spells. We run three copies of Tenki. One of the main reasons why I want to run this deck because Tenki stayed at three. Like, Tenki should have never gone back to three. The card is ridiculous. Um, then we run two, three copies of Duality. Other than, of course, your Carnation plays and your Susano plays, you don't really special summon a lot. So there's no reason why you shouldn't run three Duality. Um, I guess you could cut it down to two if you really wanted to, but honestly, I do recommend three. I do apologize for the one proxy I have in the deck. Uh, it is one Booch Incarnation. I, for some reason, I forgot to pick up the second one. Like, I couldn't find one in my rarest box, and I was very sad. Anyway, two Booch Incarnation. I've seen some people run three. However, I like it at two. It is searchable with Mika if you get its effect uh, its effect off. Mika Zuchi. So, it's a pretty cool card. Uh, it does have that uh, restrictions as well, that you have to control no monsters. Your opponent has to control monsters. So, that's why you don't want to run three. You don't want it to clog. I do opt uh, to run two copies of Kaiser Coliseum in this build. There's a few builder uh, bujins that you can run like Royal Decree plus like Effect Failure, stuff like that. Uh, I know Kaiser Coliseum can be a blank in such situations and it's kind of like a sacky card that says to your opponent you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh, which is kind of dumb. Uh, but this deck basically is a floodgate deck. So, I mean, Yamato plus Crane basically says no to your opponent, so... Kaiser does too. Uh, it's anyways, the main point is that it's been doing really well in testing, especially things like Gear Gear and Her Heretic, so uh, you can always side it out if you're not feeling it. Uh, two Lance, although you already have a lot of protection from your model, I find that Lance is really good, uh, especially with its battle step uh, man manipulation if you don't want to waste like a crane or something. Uh, three Upstart Goblins. No, I'm not playing this just because Patrick Hoban created the Upstart Theory. That's our theory. Uh, just it makes a lot of sense, guys. Like honestly, you're running three tanky through duality to get to your your motto tankies, etc. Your key pieces. So why not run a card that reduces your deck count to forty to thirty seven? 
Now, I know it does have to pay the cost of giving a thousand life points. But honestly, if you have control with like Yamato uh, Crane and like maybe some back row, or just, uh, even Yamato, like it's just amazing. Like the thousand points you pay won't even matter. Or you give, not pay. Uh, three MST and one Dark Hole. Uh, Dark Hole is not always my favorite card um, in the main deck. However, I think in a deck like Bujin's where you have hard time uh, getting over like a swarm of monsters, Dark Hole is pretty much a good idea. Um, moving on to the traps, I wish the trap count was a little bit bigger, however, I don't really have space right now. Uh, three Phoenix Chain. I like three Phoenix Chain because I feel like it's one of the best traps. Uh, honestly, going to against decks like Heretic, Girgia, even Fire Fist, the Mirror Match. Uh, Phoenix Chain is a really good card, especially Girgia being one of the biggest decks. I don't really like things like Deep Prison and stuff because if they get their effects off and start blessing... Then, sometimes Deep Prison isn't always the best thing. Um, however, I was playing with Deep Prisons and I did like it. So maybe if I could find the space, I would put those back in. Um, then one of each of the staple traps. Bottomless, Torrental, and Warning. I know a lot of people will be like, well, your objective is to protect your model. Why would you play Torrental? Well, it's the same theory as in Dino Rabbit. You're not going to just Torrental when you have a board. You're going to Torrental when you need it. Um, going on to the extra deck, uh, here's the tokens ugly tokens over here that Juan makes me play. Uh, moving on, uh, two of the my favorite cards in the extra deck, uh, Bujini, Tuzano. Um, the ability, it's, its first effect is amazing, of course, to be able to attack each of your opponent's monsters one time. But the ability to search either a Bujin monster or uh, Patriot to your grave is just, it's magnificent. Like, I love this card. Um, if you feel like you're not going to a Yamato advantage game, then you just want to set up for this guy as quickly as possible. Uh, one Kajasuchi, you already guys know from my other videos, I love that card. Uh, one of these guys, just for options, you guys know, as you will see throughout the extra deck, just basically a lot of level 4, um, ring 4 options. Uh, one Tiger King, one Omega, and following in Omega is also an M7. Like, you actually go into this, it's it's a really good go into card, like, you'll be surprised, it happens more than you think it will. Uh, one Paladamio, Star Leech card, because it happens. Uh, 101, one of the best exceeds in the game, same thing with Exciton. Um, Abyss Dweller, Crazy Box for Skill Drain, because Skill Drain's becoming a thing, apparently. Uh, Cowboy, Diamond Dire Wolf, and My Stroke. And, yep, guys, that is all for the deck. I'm not going to do a side deck, because it's just the beginning of the format. Um, so it's kind of irrelevant to do a side deck. However, I do want to side things, probably, like, Black Horn of Heaven, because of Gear of course. Um, Fossil Dinas are also good in a control deck like this that doesn't throw show summon. Just things like that, you know, maxis, failures. Um, I kind of want to do main failure, to be honest, but I got to find the space. I don't really think it's needed right now in this build, but yeah, go ahead and try out this build, guys. It's been pretty consistent. As I said, change it up how many, uh, however you want. You can run, like, take out Kaisers, you can run Decree, you can run Bailers, um, you can run more traps, whatever you feel like. Anyway, guys, one thing I need to say is that YCS Las Vegas is coming up. However, I will not be attending because I will be out of state. Actually, I'm going to New York and Canada, um, if any of you guys care. So I will not be at YCS Las Vegas. However, keep up with us on the multi-monster deals on Facebook and Twitter. I will be posting updates for that, um, from that, and that will be pretty exciting. And also, we reached 1,000 likes on our Facebook, so we will be doing a raffle of a free booster box. Thank you guys for supporting that. It means a lot to me. Um, it really does. And I will also have links down to our online store down in the description below for those who have been asking me, like, oh, where I can buy cards. Sometimes I don't like True and Told. Well, you can buy it from us. Um, and I will have that down in the description below. So that would be pretty cool as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a nice day. As I said, look forward to news on all our social networking websites, including my personal ones. And I will see you later, YouTube.